Hi, I'm Steve Nunn. I'm the CEO of The Open Group, a global consortium that facilitates the achievement of business objectives through technology standards. So what I'd like to talk to you about today is how our standards are fundamentally changing different industries uh, on a global basis. Our story starts in 2010 with something called the Open Group FACE Consortium. FACE stands for the Future Airborne Capability Environment and it focuses on federal avionics, particularly in the United States. So the issue being addressed by the Open Group FACE Consortium is how aircraft are procured by the US government. Traditionally, they award a large contract to one organization who subsequently employ subcontractors, but everything is designed from scratch. At this point, the, uh, actually it was the US Navy that said, we can't afford to do this anymore start from scratch every time, we need to be able to reuse things, we haven't got the money to spend over and over and over again for different generations of aircraft. So what they wanted to do was create an uh, open architecture based approach to the cockpit of the future as they call it, meaning that the different functionality in the cockpit um, is interoperable and reusable from one aircraft to another. So for example, Two different aircraft may have uh, a similar communication system and one that can be re reused from one to another, one that can talk from one to another, and none of this was possible in the past. A particular niche expertise of ours uh, that we've built up is bringing together government and industry to work on solving problems that help the whole marketplace. The FACE Consortium approach moves from everything being proprietary and one-off to everything being open and interoperable and reusable which saves the customer lots of money um, it allows them to reuse not just technology but skills and expertise and for the vendors it changes the way they do things for sure but it allows more opportunities to bid on more contracts than they would have had before so everybody wins What's really made a difference in this initiative compared to previous attempts at open standards in this world is the fact that they've addressed not just the technical issues but the business issues. So as well as coming up with a technical standard, they've been coming up with guides to procurement that mean that when a procurement officer or program officer is wanting to use the standard, we have a whole list of of useful guides and uh, information for them to make them useful tools to their job rather than just another rock to fetch or to make it harder for them to use. The result of that is that uh, the, the industry has fundamentally changed in the way that product is procured and supplied and everybody, for everybody's benefit. Already we've seen some very significant procurements put out by the different government service branches and all of this is telling the vendors that this is the way that things will be done, this is the direction and uh, we not only need to be on board but we want to be on board.